It's quite atrocious, I must admit. The dating pool, it has pee in it. We're living in a ghetto right now. And I don't know if it will ever get better. <laughs> You're like, well, Ashley, thanks. y'all it's Nadra and Mal. welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey girl thanks for stopping by if you're not new hey babe thanks for coming back in today's video we're gonna be talking a little bit about dating all things dating how the dating pool is contaminated it got pee in it we're gonna be talking about modern dating and how dating today literally sucks we're gonna be talking about men we're gonna be talking about all that good stuff we're gonna be talking about the topic that everyone loves to discuss dating so yeah i'm just gonna be doing makeup chatting about modern dating and we're gonna have a fun time so i'm not gonna make this intro too long if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts then keep on watching <laughs> Okay, y'all, before we get into the tea, I want to put y'all on to my two new fave perfumes that Dossier sent me. If you watched a couple of my past videos, you would know that I've been working with Dossier for the past couple of months. And this month, I'm obsessed with Ambry Vanilla and Fruity Almond. Ambry Vanilla is basically a dupe of black opium. If you know, you know. If you don't, you gotta smell it. It smells so freaking good. People literally have followed me. <laughs> to tell me how good I smell. It definitely brings all the boys to the yard. And then Fruity Almond is inspired by Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. That scent is, I don't even know how to describe it. It just smells like beautiful woman. If y'all are interested in shopping with SCA, I'll leave all the information in the description box. I also have a coupon code that y'all can use, which is Naja10. If you use that at checkout, you can save some coin. That's that on that. Let's get into the tea. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, cause I got something to say why oh why is modern dating so trash y'all know what i mean i mean if you don't know what i mean then ugh, you are blessed the streets got rats it got roaches it's flooded at this point there's nothing there for me obviously i don't know everybody's experience i can like speak from my own experience and from what i see every time i open my phone and go on twitter or instagram or YouTube or whatever, but it seems like a large majority of the population is really in the trenches right now when it comes to dating. Modern relationships are so odd. Everyone desires love, okay? You can't sit here and tell me that. You don't want love in your life, all right? We all crave it, it's a human necessity. Everyone craves it, but there's a lack of healthy, adult, mature relationships, and I just don't understand the disconnect. The options that we have are slim to none a quick story time i went on i don't want to call it a date because it for sure was not a date but my sister and i we, we was in la and we met these guys just randomly and it was obvious that they were trying to get at us i wasn't interested in them my sister was not interested in them but it was three of them by the way two of them are models one is just a regular dude whatever the models were twins by the way and they basically was trying to hang out it's la you know everybody is trying to get on or whatever they're black they seemed cool i'm like all right sure let's do some later in my mind like, i'm thinking from a business perspective like okay you guys are models you look good we have a brand we could you feel me network and make something happen right make some shake shade was not having it she was not trying to go to dinner but i basically i kind of forced her because anything for the brand you know what i'm saying we end up going to dinner right and the two model dudes are late but so we get to the restaurant and we're we're there with okay let me get the dude a name let's call the one dude adam and i'll call the twins beavis and butthead okay well, we get to the restaurant with adam we're sitting with adam for about honestly like 45 minutes to an hour just talking whatever chatting it up adam was more interested in Shade, so like the whole time it was obvious that he was trying to talk to Shade. like i said she didn't want to be there she was just i guess entertaining the conversation because there was nothing else to do but we ordered our food waited for viewers and butthead to show up why they show up mad late wearing matching outfits First of all, I understand the whole twin thing. Like, okay, cool, you're twins, but you do not need to be wearing the same outfit as another grown man. Let's be real here. Is that really necessary? No, it's not. I feel like I'm dragging the story out. I need to get to the point. Right, we had already ordered our food. Our food had already come. Eva sits down next to me and takes a fork and sticks his fork into my lobster mac and cheese. He sticks his fork into my lobster mac and cheese. 
I don't know you. You don't do that. I don't care. Even if I did know him, you don't stick your fork into someone's meal. That's enough to make me put my hands on you. Whole dinner. The dude's just being mad, annoying, talking negatively about their model friends and just being gross and annoying. In my face, super close to me. Like, dude, I don't know you. I'm talking about some. We should go on a trip. We should go on a cruise. I don't know you though. That's not how you lead a conversation with a woman that you don't know. It's giving Ted Bundy. We literally just <laughs> met like five hours ago. And overall, just the night was really awkward. Keep in mind, I never <laughs> was romantically interested in this person. I just wanted to network. Shame on me for wanting to network. It was just really bad and uncomfortable. First you come in here almost an hour late and then you dig your fork into my food. <laughs> And then you talk about going on a cruise with me. Why would I go on a cruise with a man that can't even order his own entree? He got a whole Caesar salad. You can't even order a full meal. Nobody wants to go on a trip with you. And after that night, I'm just sitting reflecting like, is this what my options are? Like, is this how modern men act? Is this what I have to choose from? Men that eat off of women's plates? There's gotta be a better way. This can't be it. I mean, today's men are making TikToks. Nothing against TikTok, but why? Why are you on TikTok when you can be outside doing manual labor with your hands? Building a house? Working on a car? No, but instead you're standing in front of your phone making TikTok dances. I <laughs> just... Is that really what we have to choose from? I don't want it. I would rather stay single than... <laughs> Dana man that makes TikTok. I'm sorry. I'm not though. People want to do relationship things without the relationship title. It's kind of hopeless right now. If you're single right now, I am with you. I hear you. I see you. Because there's, there, there's nothing here for us. If you are in a relationship, I don't know how blessed you are. It's a privilege to be in a stable relationship right now. I just think like as you get older, start to desire a relationship, obviously. Since we were children, we were taught to go to school, get a job, get married. How are we going to do that if everybody's sucks just trying to navigate dating when modern men are just so so like they just make my head hurt it's hard out here it's a dark time that we're living in very imbalanced but at the same time i like being single because i don't have to answer to anyone it's very liberating being able to do what you want when you want how you want i don't know this generation is a weird one because people have different values who brags about being toxic <laughs> when has toxicity ever been cute never but it's a trend now i'm toxic <laughs> okay we have lost the plot yeah i'm just stuck on the fact that there aren't very many options to even consider the fact that men are so obsessed with being in women's business it's just a turn off. You guys already know my stance on men. I try to be more understanding and less, you know, judgmental or whatever, but it's hard. It's hard when they just prove me right every single time. Like, I don't want to say all men are the same, but that's what it feels like until someone proves me wrong. That's just how I feel. And that's how I'm gonna feel. I just want better for my sisters and my brothers too. I do, I want better for all of us. I want us to find genuine love. Sometimes a nigga need a hug or something, you know what I'm saying? That's not like a freaking simp right now, but dude, why is dating right now so trash? I've been single for three years and it's hitting me. I've really been single for three years. <laughs> I love it here. But I also would love to come across a guy that is not completely brain dead. Is that too much to ask for? I mean, I don't freaking know, man. Just looking for someone with brain cells. That's all. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. I think I want to keep this headband on because it's giving me cheetah girls, cheetah sisters. And it's... It's cute. I like it. Does anyone relate to me? I just feel like there's a lack of trust. There's a lack of honesty. There's a lack of compassion it makes me sad it makes me sad to see my sisters getting into relationships and just repeatedly being hurt why is it so difficult to just exist in a healthy partnership with someone it shouldn't be this hard bro lauren hill said it could all be so simple <laughs> but we'd rather make it hard well we'd rather make it hard that's my little two cents on the topic you guys agree or disagree or what do you think All right, y'all, I'm done. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat chatty video. Let me know if you guys feel me on anything I said in this video. And let me know if you cuffed up. If you don't even gotta worry about nothing I talked about in this video because you don't belong to the streets. Let me know. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I will talk to y'all on my next one. Love you guys. Bye.